Hi, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Lauren if you're new. You're about to hear the vacuum. I feel like it's about to get close. I don't know if you can hear that. I have my robot vacuum going, which is like the best thing ever because I don't even have to vacuum. Let's get the day started. Let's get this vlog started. Place is a madhouse. We just went to Costco and picked up some stuff. So I wanted to show you just a little Costco haul. So we got some salmon. We're going to vacuum seal it. So we got two of them. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts. There's a bunch of these. So I just cut along this line before I freeze them. That way they're just, you could just pull it out and it's ready to go. We're trying this sweet Italian sausage. And then Christian actually saw this, which is ground turkey. And I take ground turkey as my main source of protein for lunches every single week because it's easy and I feel like it reheats really well. And sometimes chicken just doesn't reheat well. So this is what I take and came in like a pack of four. So this will last me a month because one pack will be for each week. We got some more eggs. And what I'm taking this week for lunch, it is just a quinoa salad so I can divvy it up into four. I don't know if this is weird, but I put hard boiled eggs on top of this as my main source of protein and it's really good. So I'll put two hard boiled eggs on each serving. This is the best popcorn that I have ever tried. And you can get it from Costco. It comes in a huge bag from Costco. You can also get it from Target in smaller bags. But I buy this for our wine and cheese each week that we do at my job for the clients. And everyone loves it. You definitely need to try it if you haven't tried it already. It is so good. You know, you know that feeling when you get caught taking a selfie? It's just kind of awkward. It's kind of embarrassing. So that's, that's my life. I went into Target for one thing and I came out with a plant. I don't know who I am. I'm not even doing anything. I don't know why you're just standing there staring at me. So we're gonna do a little happy hour taste test um, with some Chandon. They just came out with a garden spritz and it's kind of like the Aperol spritz but all in one product. So he got this from his job. This is just the regular sparkling wine. I've loved Aperol spritzes for so long so I'm hoping that this is just as good. I got new wine glasses from Crate and Barrel and I'll do a Crate and Barrel haul after the taste testing that I filmed on Tuesday because I couldn't wait until today to unbox all of the goodies. I got a bunch of plates, bowls, just new dishes and new wine glasses. I guess it's better for it to be in a bigger glass than a champagne glass. We're not gonna taste this today. Smells like flowers. Mm -hmm. Tastes like flowers. It's pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Mhm. Mm you feel the bubbles almost kind of like pop rocks in your mouth, <laughs> and then it goes but down it's really like sweet. smooth. Yeah, it's sweet. Do you like it? It would be good with ice, and maybe like orange. Yes. How's it with the ice? Good. I think it's good with the ice. I almost think it, it's like complete with the ice. Yeah. I just put on a necklace and some jewelry because I didn't have on any jewelry. This, really good. Added ice to it, really good. I like how it kind of reminds me of an Aperol Spritz but it's not exactly like it. It's a little bit more floral than bitter, like the Aperol Spritz. Now I'm gonna put in the part of the vlog where I do the Crate and Barrel haul. So here 
is that part of the vlog of me unboxing all of the stuff from Crate and Barrel. Just came home to the best package. I'm gonna show you and input it in this weekend's vlog when I start vlogging. Let's get into opening this box. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. So if you don't already know, and if you're new, um, I ordered a bunch of new plates and dishes from Crate and Barrel because I've had the same ones since college. So I finally invested in Crate and Barrel dishes and bowls. And I got some new wine glasses. So I'm gonna show you. Oh my gosh, they're big. They're, I got the red wine glasses. I have like the signature like square looking wine glasses. Let me show. I have this collection. I have the, this is the red wine glass and I also have the white wine glass, which is smaller. And then I have the champagne flutes. So this is from Crate and Barrel. I get so many questions on these wine glasses on Instagram and on YouTube. Crate and Barrel. And then I just have like these white wine glasses, which are just like generic white wine glasses that I've got from Home Goods from college that I just hold on to. These are just for white wine. I got for red wine, which I'm so excited. I think these are the Tor red wine glasses. I think I can link everything that I got down below if you want to get it for yourself. I obviously make nothing off of the links that I'm linking. I'm just doing it. So that way, if you guys want to pick some stuff up, you can do that. And I'll even link these down below too. These are huge red wine glasses. and I freaking love them but got two of these they're just gorgeous okay what's this is this is this the appetizer plate there's no way i'm so confused i should have measured i guess that's on me but i guess these are the appetizer plates i don't know what i would put on this this is kind of like a fail on my part. I don't know what I did there. So I got the, I think it's Mercer collection. These are also porcelain. These are like the small bowls. I realized that I didn't have any like sauce bowls or like dip bowls or anything like that when I did like the little Super Bowl party that I had like a few months ago. And I was like, you know what, when I purchase my own plates and dish sets, I need to just get little bowls. I'm still really confused about these small plates okay so these are the salad plates this is what the plates look like just not pick up well so these are the salad plates i got four salad plates okay let's get into the rest of the stuff is in boxes okay, okay. these tall bowls which look like this got four of them they're not a set of four. So I think the sets come in eight. So if you're wanting to buy a set of them, I think it goes up to eight and you can save, like you basically buy seven and I think you get the eighth one free. I only got four bowls. If I need more, I'll obviously buy more, but I wanted to start off with something that is, it's only Christian and I here. So I wanted to start off with something a little bit smaller. I did buy eight dinner plates though. Okay, these are like, pasta style bowls and I got four of these as well so these are like salad bowls so the point of this collection is to be like not even if that makes sense it's supposed to be it's supposed to look like this like a little bit more worn still can't believe those appetizer plates I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna put on that So I got a set of eight in the dinner plates and they're this big. So that's what they look like. I got a set of eight, two boxes. So I got four appetizer plates, four salad plates, eight dinner plates, two mini bowls, four of these taller bowls, and then four of these like wider bowls. Don't, I'm like actually blown away by these like little plates. What the, can you guys tell me what I would put on these or should I just I think they were so cheap I think they were like two dollars a plate or like four dollars a plate So I'm not gonna return them There's no crate and barrel close to me. What would I put on this? What I I don't even think a rice cake would fit on this 
I just got these that you saw in the last vlog. Just got these little stands. And these are like my plastic 99 cent plates from Target and Bowls. So I'm excited to add my nicer stuff to up here. I wanted to share that little crate and barrel haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I guess let's get back into the rest of the video because it's Wednesday and future me will be vlogging on Saturday. But yeah, I gotta get to working out because I should have been at the gym 15 minutes ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little section of the vlog in my little haul. And I hope you got a kick out of these mini plates. And maybe by Saturday, I'll have a plan for what I will be using for these little plates. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little unboxing. But let me show you how I have it set up. So this is how I have it set up. Those bowls up there, they work all stacked on top of each other, but it just, I don't know, maybe I should put those bowls on top of the plates. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do all that, but it looks a little nutty with the spice. Anyways, whatever, this can change, it's fine how it is. But these are the new plates, the salad plates, the appetizer plates, which I was really shocked to find them this small. It's okay, it's all good. These are the little mini bowls those bowls and then those are our plastic dishes and that's how I used the shelves you're actually standing on one of the shelves I don't know what to do with the shelf so I just keep it next to the coffee maker and then the other shelf is in here and I found one way to use the mini appetizer plate I just put my lemon squeezer on it and then when I cut up half a lemon I just keep the lemon out I don't know what I'd use these trays for if you guys have any tips I can set one next to my sink and put all like my jewelry in it like catch-all jewelry that I wear every day so yeah I'm really loving our new plates and yeah so Target I went to Target mainly for the Starbucks pike roast for the Nespresso machine, but they didn't have any in stock. So I got the Starbucks espresso roast. We'll see. I'm going to try it tomorrow morning and see how they, they taste. So that was that. And I got a plant from Target. I got a plant. And I didn't know where to put the plant and I found a home for the plant. So I'm going to show you. I put it in our little extra bathroom. Put it right there and i think it looks so cute i really haven't spent any time decorating this apartment at all um haven't really bought many pieces for it for like many reasons but i'm just worried that my style will change so i just bought pieces that i knew I would be okay with for a few years and I know that these will be fine they weren't expensive pieces so it'd be fine to carry into the next few apartments and the tray I had a tray in there it's actually a cheese board and I don't use it for that but I can if I want to I think it's kind of small for a cheese board if you ask me but I don't know anyway so this was in the extra bathroom so I just put it out here with our soap and then a candle I think it looks cute 